Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero bringing Pisces their weekly love read. This is for the week of January 17th through the 23rd. We are going to do You, Them, and the Connection um, and get some cards on those. We are going to get a few Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144, the Hermit Tarot Oracle cards, um, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Message Volume 2, and a cup or an A, we're gonna finish the song off with a single Heart Songs card um, from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are general readings, so please take what resonates with you, Pisces, and leave the rest. Oh, there you are, showing up as the King of Cups. Um um, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this reading is way off, um, please check your moon or your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box that will take you to a website to give you that info. Also, there is a link in the description box to my personal website or my website for gumdrops and lollipops tarot that will take you um, That'll tell you how to get a personal read if you're interested in a personal read. If I could talk today, we might get through this. All right. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate your support. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Uh, I would appreciate it. All right, guys. So at the bottom of the deck, we have a two of wands. So the two of wands um, represents a, a, a choice or a path. So Pisces, perhaps you have a choice to pick, a path to take. you got to figure out what, what you're going to do. In this deck, um, the two of wands represents travel. So maybe you're traveling. Um, but I really feel like the three of wands is more of a travel card traditionally. But um, I think you have a path to pick. You have a choice to make a path to pick. Um, you got to figure out what you're going to do. Pisces, you are showing up as your wonderful, loving self. Um, the King of Cups is a water sign. Someone who is very passionate, someone who is compassionate, someone who is caring, full of love, like so much love, like love oozes out of you. You might not verbalize all the love that you have, but you show your love. You're very compassionate and loving and caring. Um, very kind of balanced, chill energy. We have the devil card here. So perhaps Pisces, uh, the devil represents unhealthy things. Um, usually the things that we bring on to ourselves. It could be like um, an addiction, addiction. So maybe you're drinking too much, smoking too much, partying it up too much. Um, it could be a, a, maybe you have a sex addiction or a workaholism, um, any kind of addictive behavior that's going to kind of get in your own way. It could be obsessive thoughts. It could be jealousy. It could be um, it could be uh, codependent relationships, like not knowing how to function without somebody else. Um, but it can also just be stuck up in your head. But I feel like you're showing up here. Um, sometimes they say the King of Cups drinks a lot with the Obsession card here or the Devil card. I feel like maybe you, maybe you have some issues with drinking, but um, or maybe you're just overthinking a situation, obsessing about a situation. Um, but you definitely have some traits here or energies here you probably want to get rid of. Um, or you could just be so attractive that um, people obsess over you. Um, could be. And, but here you're, again, showing up with the cup of, uh, ace of cups, the cup of love. You have so much love to offer someone. You're showing up with true love. Um, so you have true love for this person in your situation. You're, you're, you're them. You're them in this situation. Um, for whatever reason, they're kind of showing up as this five of cups. They're looking like they're sad. They're missing out on something. Um, you know, they're watching what they have kind of slip away versus what do they have right in their hands. Um, they're showing up a little bit sad and apathetic. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I might clarify. Um, but they're also showing up as a soul connection to you. Uh, the six of cups is someone that you could have known previously, someone from your past. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a, a an ex an ex person like a lover it could be anybody from your past it could be someone you went to preschool with you didn't even realize or remember it could be anybody from your past but this is a soul connection so like when you're with this person you feel this connection um almost like no other very nostalgic very kind of innocent feeling um, but they're definitely a person who is persistent, willing to work through a situation. They're willing to plant some seeds and watch it grow to fruition. So they're really willing to kind of make things work. They are. They don't give up. They work on things. They're. Um, they persevere. 
Okay, so the connection's interesting. Um, you have the Queen of Cups, which is awesome because you're showing up as a King of Cups. So your divine counterpart is here. You guys are a match. Whoever this person is, you are a match. Um, you are soul connected. You guys are divine counterparts. Um, the Hierophant is also here, which is a higher level commitment, um, potential marriage. So this, this relationship is going to be going to a higher level commitment. There's love, there's marriage. And this is so unexpected for you. Um, I don't think you thought that this would be a possibility, but the tower card is here. This is going to be a complete shock. It's going to shake everything up. It's not what you expected to be happening. But I feel like it's love and marriage, <laughs> um, which comes as a complete shock. Things kind of get turned and flipped upside down. Oh, gosh. Now I got the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song in my head. But, um... So, like, something unexpected is going to happen um, in this connection, but it's going to result in true love and marriage. So, uh, interesting. I'm going to clarify the Hermit card, just because I'm curious myself. Did I say the Hermit card? I meant the Tower card. I'm going to clarify the Tower card. Queen of Pentacles. Rot row. <laughs> Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles to me is a... Um, like a third party situation, five of wands, competition, and the hanged man. So interesting. So maybe there's a third party in this situation because um, it's showing like rivalry, competition, letting go, surrendering to the pause, and the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is usually like a really committed long term person, um, someone who's responsible, someone who takes care of things, financially stable. If I'm clarifying the tower, it's showing competition, rivalry, disagreements with the Queen of Pentacles, but surrendering to that. So I feel like um, perhaps there's another person with you here, Pisces, um, that's going to make it think like you're not going to be able to marry this person, but you will. I feel like the tower is another person <laughs> that comes in and shows competition. But I think you, uh, oh, which makes sense, right? Because we have the two of wands, which I said is a choice, a path to pick. Right underneath there is a five of wands again, which is conflict, competition, page of pentacles. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a grounded, stable, committed relationship. It's just going to move slow. And I don't think you're going to expect that it's going to turn into a marriage between you and your counterpart. Then we also have an Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck, which is passion, which is passion. It's the magic stick card. <laughs> Lots of passion. New start with passion. All right, we're going to get a couple of sacred, heal sacred healing journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144. What does Pisces need to know out of this? Lunar cycles, connecting with the cycles of the moon. Engagement, will you marry me? Yes, when I tell you, marriage, meditation, healing, finding inner peace, faith, letting go and let God. Yeah, I feel like this is a divinely um, guided relationship. I think it is going to end up in a marriage. I just don't think you're thinking it's going to. All right, let's get the Hermit card, Oracle cards. Get a few cards from here. This deck is wild. This, I don't know what's wrong with the way I shuffle. I'm open to compromise. So uh, maybe you're going to have to compromise with this person or they're willing to compromise with you. Sex with you. <laughs> Oh, they want to have sex with you. That doesn't uh, surprise me with this Ace of Wands here. And they love you. And you love them. All right. Not that that's necessary, right? <laughs> but whatever. Definitely. When they say they love you and you love them, definitely. And as Sword 1, which is uh, Ace of um, Swords, which is new, stable, start with mental clarity. I would do anything for you. Yeah, this is definitely your person, but I think it's going to surprise you. The connection is going to surprise you. Um, the, the way the connection 
goes forward is going to surprise you. It's going to lead to a marriage. White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Message, Volume 2. Thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life. So that could be what you say to them. That could be what they say to you. How I wish I could hold you tonight. And it's heartbreaking. We can't have more than we do now. Wow. And can we just kiss all night? Wow. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get a heart songs from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So this is a deck. These are all song lyrics. So the song itself might resonate with you personally. It might resonate with you and make you think about a certain person or the person you're thinking about in this read. Um, and, or it also could just be that you need to listen to the lyrics. So, um, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. The world was on fire and no one could save me but you. It's strange what desire will make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. And I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. Hmm. Well, I don't know about losing you, but, um... Who knows what this tower really is. <laughs> um, or maybe you lost them in the past and they're coming back around. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate any support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate every, every view, every like, every share, every comment. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you enjoyed this read. Thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, take care, okay? Bye-bye.